Hello and welcome everyone to another video in which I'm going to talk about retouching steps that you need to take to have your images look good. And there's around four, maybe five very important steps that you will do on each image to make sure that you will have really good outcome. And I think it's mainly for photographers because many photographers prefer to have images retouched by, by themselves. And also, I'm often being accused that I use this sort of images to have nice thumbnails. This is not uh, the key. Uh, for example, now, uh, this is lifestyle bikini. And the reason why I'm doing this subject, because it's a very big market. A lot of photographers doing this type of photography. There's a lot of bikini companies that are looking for photographers. So I'm trying to make the courses on the subject that is very desired. So... We have three different images. I'm going to tell you all of the steps that I did over here. If you want to have it more detailed, of course, a link in the description to the full course where each and every step is very well explained. So to start, let's have a look at the image before. That was the image after raw conversion. And this is the image after all retouch. As you can see, bikini folds, skin, hair, and tones and of course lights are fixed here we have other example and also another one so some of them has a little bit more skin retouching some of them a little bit less depending on the need but i'm going to explain all of the steps on this image so let me turn off the layers that i have here and the first step i always do and i believe everyone is just raw processing and everyone Many people wonder uh, what to do in raw processing. So I'm going to open this smart object right now. As you can see, thanks to the fact that I'm working in the smart object, what I always recommend to people, when you open image in Photoshop from camera, you open this as a smart object because you can have a look anytime. And you can see here, I always work a little bit with the lights. I want to match the lights. I want to adjust the lights. I change the profile. Um, for this image and for other images from this set because I felt camera standard will be more suitable than Adobe Color in this case. So lights, profile, check-in, we have um, some other uh, matching as you can see, a luminance in hue, satura hue saturation luminance. So very basic adjustments and nothing more than that I do on this level if you want to know of course in more details link in the description two months for free on skillshare and for those who follow me and didn't see the notification popping there is the course on skillshare for on this subject with images to practice the next step after raw conversion is cleaning up and cleaning up maybe on this image will be very well uh, visible because this is to be honest one of the most important processes you could do ever. So I should have something more here, okay? And now you can see. What I did not on the skin, we need to clean up the skin around the chest, around the legs a lot, but also when we take care of things like bikini, we might get some folds. So very important is to take care of this and I would be using for this healing brush, clone stamp, um, of course, basic retouching tools. If I'm losing the texture, I'm using the uh, high pass to build up the texture. For example, here, of course, when I was clean, I'm losing the texture. So I want to bring it back. And of course, bringing back the texture with a uh, high pass filter is great method. Uh, of course, now it seems easy. It's a little bit more complicated once again. It's in my um, full videos. A little bit of the frequency to even out the shadows. And of course, as a cleaning up process, what is also super important, a little bit of dutch and burn. Not too much. I never really do too much of dutch and burn for uh, bikini images. Uh, it's not beauty but of course you need to make sure that the skin is really uh, perfect because you want to represent the product in the highest form here as you can see also a little bit of dutch and burn once again not too much mostly legs somewhere on the 
uh, corners we need to take care of all of the lights and make um, the skin uneven. After uh, cleaning up, so we have two steps first. Uh, camera raw filter and cleaning up including Dutch and burn. This is the second step Once it's done we are lucky the major process is done and I'm usually jumping to the contrasts and With the contrasts um, a few things I split my mask often for highlights for separate elements like a water I'm using color range for this um, or maybe I need to brighten up the bikini I also go with color range with the masks to define all of these elements to bring uh, back the lights and as you can see on the other image um, less complicated I didn't have to use the mask so it always depends on the image if we need to be a little bit more precise or not this is third step lights the fourth steps and we could count it even as the uh, last one is color grading. So for color grading, I often go with tools like color balance, but it always depends on the preferences. You don't have to go with color balance. You uh, have different tools for the reason. So you have selective color, which is really powerful. You have photo filter, you have curves. You have, of course, color balance, which I already mentioned. So there's a lot of things that you can use to work with color. The point is to understand how the color works. And I always recommend to familiarize yourself with the color harmonies, uh, how the color works. Google what is color harmonies, uh, check how the color will look and how uh, to apply the color wheel into your images. And then I can do a little bit of uh, grading, uh, like sort of global grading to set up the tone of the image. And also, uh, for example, if I want to work on the certain color, I can create a mask and polish the color of the water in this case, uh, for example. And then, of course, also as the uh, final step, I like to create a stamp on the top. So once again, at the end, I'm working with camera. I'm converting this to smart object and I try to adjust the final colors, maybe a little bit more contrast at the end, a little bit more saturation at the very end in camera. So this is the four, five steps uh, that I do for my images that lead me from the beginning to final results. Uh, when we zoom in, we can actually see the differences uh, on the face. This is before we have pimples, shadows. So pimples removed, shadows sorted out by Dutch and Burn, contrasts improved, and just a little bit um, of colors. So this is the process uh, that I do. Many people ask me like, what's the retouching steps? It's not complicated. And um, what, really bothers me in last few years um, many people start figuring out different techniques and start talking about different methods and many details that they were describing as a super important um, it's not the true uh, what you need to create is just nice image and you want to create it fast uh, you want to create it natural and of course non-destructive so you just clean up the image work with lights and colors and that's all about what's retouching. But what's really above that is uh, your creative understanding how the colors and lights work. So look at a lot of images, learn Photoshop, and nothing more complicated. But if you want to retouch the skin well, of course you need a tablet, pen, and a lot of practice. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, um, course, the full course with these images in the description so i know many of you follow me on skillshare have a look into this for those who don't two months for free to join and watch this and many other of my courses thank you for watching and i'm gonna going to see you next time